Here in Washington, nine Ethiopian anti-government factions are signing their commitment to an alliance, posing a new challenge for Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed. The allied group will include the Tigray People's Liberation Front, who have been fighting the government in a year-long conflict. The new bloc, which calls themselves the United Front of Ethiopian Federalist and Confederalist Forces, say they're pushing for a safe political transition and that they will share human and social resources. The United Front of Ethiopian Federalist and Confederalist Forces is aligned our collective will towards unified struggle for democracy, equality and self-determination. The nine groups make up a broad coalition of regions and ethnic makeups. On the ground, the TPLF and OLA groups said Wednesday that their fighters were collaborating and claimed they've made territorial gains around 300 kilometres from the capital, fueling rumours that Addis Ababa could fall. On Friday morning, the army called on their former military personnel to help fight the Tigray forces. However, the government has dismissed these claims of advancement. It's quite worrisome that many allegations being lodged against the Ethiopian government are being done so in an orchestrated manner to discredit, to discredit a democratically elected government that has majority support. The announcement comes just one day after the conflict's one-year anniversary, when the Ethiopian government chose to deploy troops into the Tigray region to topple the TPLF. According to the UN, the Tigray conflict has killed thousands and displaced more than two million. The international community has repeatedly called for a ceasefire, and the US urged their citizens on Friday to leave Ethiopia as soon as possible.